If you're one of me buddies in real life, you knows that I loves all the trash TV shows out in the States. Jerry Springer, Mary Povich, I don't care who by, just put it on me television and I'll be on the floor in the knots in like point two. If you don't know what Jerry Springer is, you're probably too young to be on this channel, so get to Jesus. But if you're an old bag like myself, you knows that Jerry Springer is pretty much a National Geographic series on the average American like household. If I were to tell you what America was all about, I'd show you fellas walking around in diapers with transsexual midget strippers with unfaithful wives. That's Jerry Springer, bah. Makes sense? Best kind? Let's get right into it. One thing I gotta tell you before we start, though, is something that most of you already knows, which is that I am a dumbass. And on the left side of the footage, I got me fucking cursor on the screen, and I didn't realize it until I finished rendering the footage. I hope it don't distract you too much. And with all the crazy shit you're about to see, I doubt you'll even notice it. Let's get her going. Well, my guests today say they not only hate the person their loved one wants to marry, but they're outraged because they're marrying someone of the same sex. Oh! I'm not one of these politically correct goofballs or anything like that. I don't need to worry about offending people until at least me 30 year month, so for now I am pretty best kind. But all the same, it's crazy to go back and look at these mid 90 shows and see how shocking gay marriage was to audiences back then. I'm not saying everyone back then hated gay people or anything, San Francisco existed for a reason, but you've gotta admit, it's funny how shit changes over time. It's obviously for the better though, and you aren't gonna convince me otherwise. I mean, if a guy wants to get married to another guy, all the power to him. Who cares? It ain't my business, bye, and it ain't really yours either. Go mad, boys, do whatever you want. Okay, here's your lover, John. <laughs> Alright, so we're jumping straight into the action here today. So if you haven't seen an episode of Jerry Springer before, basically you've got these total whack jobs who come out on stage and do something which makes the audience go wild, and everyone gets out of their seats and starts clapping like they won an Academy Award or some shit. And by the way, I'm not calling these people whack jobs for being gay. I'm calling him a whack job because he's on live TV with his dick and balls out and his hairy fucking gorilla chest making out with a buddy twice his size. Just so we're clear. I don't care what you say, I love John. John, I love you. I love you too. And I'm you know, if you don't like it. <laughs> what do you want me to say to this though? Like the clip speaks for itself by you got a skinny pill head showing his bob bony pixelated ass crack to the world. Go little rock star, I suppose. And you know what? And I don't care fact, what you uh, say, cause aren't you gay? Yes, okay, I am. Then why the hell to do with me? <laughs> They gotta upload some of these clips uncensored, but the censor bleeps are fine for a bit, but after a while they just gets on your nerves, but I just wants to hear what they're saying. If a skinny fella in a speedo fighting an overweight 40 something year old doesn't offend me, then the F word probably won't either. And uh, her name is Melinda, here's Melinda. <laughs> Boys, I'm telling you now, this show got me brainwashed. Cause every time Jerry Springer introduced someone's friend or whatever onto the stage, my first reaction is that it's either gonna be a transsexual, a midget, a naked guy, or anything other than the most normal misses you could think of. I'm half disappointed, but I still don't think this is scripted, by the way. This is real life America, sure. Picture perfect. Okay, we okay, have, uh, whatever. they wanna get married, done gay weddings before? This will be the first one. The first one. <laughs> What better place to do it? You bet. Uh, good luck to you. <laughs> Take over. Imagine being a priest or a reverend or whatever, and your buddy asks you what your first wedding was like. What are you gonna say, or what are they gonna like react to you when you tells them that you brought the hearts of a naked hairy pillhead and a drag queen together on a Jerry Springer show? Oh my god, buddy must be an Anglican. Typical. It's only a public testament of the profound yeah! relationship which already exists within your hearts. <laughs> Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you after a clip like that. Like, I'm half speechless and breathless because of COVID. I mean, where do I start? 
Father flicks the cake at his son, the son gets his man boobs out, and they all live happily ever after, I suppose. A true Jerry Springer fairy tale if I've ever fucking seen one. Uh, please meet Anthony. He says he's here to stop his friend from ruining her life. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, Anthony, me buddy, but you're on the Jerry Springer show, so your life is fucked already. Here now is the woman you don't want your best friend to marry. Here's Kia. I mean, I know this is half strange seeing a grown 300 pound fella in a wedding dress, but to be honest with you, at least he's dressed for the occasion, unlike the bony crackhead fella from the last segment. I gotta give him a little bit of credit, however little it may be. What's the problem? Come over here to me defend her. Not marry her. You're not marrying her. What I did to her, I'm gonna do to you. You're not marrying her. If this part ain't scripted, which I'm not too sure about, then you've got to admit that Buddy is a scumbag. He went after a transsexual guy for one, and then he goes after his own sister for Jesus sake. You can't really sympathize with him, but some lines you just don't cross. In his defense though, the missus getting married is bothering than him. That I won't deny. Take over, again. <laughs> Alright then, so this Anglican priest fella is having a bit of a rough night, ain't he? Second wedding, this time between two lesbian lovers, and we got fruit punch flying, a missus with her eyes glued shut before the honeymoon, and a fella whose shirt magically vanished midway through the scrap. You're 0-2 on the weddings here tonight, me buddy, you gotta step your game up. Kia, do you take Taisha to be your wedded spouse to live together within the estate of matrimony? If so, please state I do. I do. Kia? Do you Taisha. Take, Taisha, do you take Kia to be your wedded spouse to live together in the ceremony yeah. of soul? Please say I do. I do. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. At that point, you're better off doing the wedding another day or something. I mean, it's supposed to be one of the greatest parts of your life, and you're there reciting your vows with a fella trying to kick the fuck out of you and throwing cake in your face. I mean, maybe that's a turn-on for some people out there, but I don't know, but maybe getting married on live television has its consequences. Who knows? Who can tell? And Brock's a good guy. He's my friend. He's been my friend. And since he's gotten involved with this <laughs> screw nut, <laughs> we can't, we're not friends. We can't do anything anymore. We don't visit each other anymore. Just so he can sit around and paddle this <laughs> butt. I mean, he tried to keep it PG in the first half, but I guess by the end of it, he just went off the rails like a crazy train, as he has born type beast. Oh well. By the way, take off those stupid fucking glasses, you mope. I'm trying to take the Jerry Springer show seriously here. You're making the job a whole lot harder. Jason, welcome to the show. Uh, today is not. It's all right, it's all right, because today's not your wedding day. All right, I hate to say this, I really do, but I'm half convinced that this part is scripted. I mean, it was going fine at first, but I highly doubt that any normal person would try to beat the fuck out of one of his buddies for saying that. It wasn't even that offensive, but. Then again, Normal and Jerry Springer, they don't really exactly go together. But even so, I could do without the scripted shit. Okay, well, let's meet the man you want to marry and he's your best friend. Here is Brock. sit here and tell me that this looks real, but there's no fucking way. 
You can tell when they fake shit like this, and out of respect for the integrity of this channel, I'm gonna end the video right here. Not because I'm lazy, definitely not. Overall, The Jerry Springer Show is one of the most classic TV shows that TV Trash got to offer. Funny characters, crazy bullshit, and some of the most fucked boys you will ever see in your life. If you enjoyed this video, I might make more of them in the future, if I ever gets around to fucking uploading her again. I'll let you know. This has been Leaf Carlo, and I'll see you on the right side of the rock. Have a good one.